Hey, welcome to our uh, 77th year of this Woodstock High School Alumni Parade. That's a long haul. I don't think they've missed a single year either. War years and everything. Always had this parade. And as you know, it's a, it's a wonderful tradition in Woodstock. A dying tradition in a lot of other Vermont towns. But we've managed to hang on in Woodstock. And I think you agree when you, when you see our parade this year. We've got a, a lot of floats, a lot of class, classes represented. Uh, we've got bands and units uh, that, that you'll enjoy. So it's a, it's a great tradition. So thanks for coming out. Uh, the theme of the parade this year is children's books. And there's some very creative stuff down there. You'll see them as they come by. Uh, we award cash prizes for the best floats. Uh, we have a most artistic category, the most humorous, and the most original. And then the grand overall prize is called the Judges Prize. Uh, our judges this year, speaking of judges, are Mary Riley, Nancy Kendall, and Andrew McClellan. So those are our judges. Uh, we judge the parade in progress, uh, so the judges get their heads together after the parade. We won't know immediately who's won the various categories, but within about 15 minutes of the end of the parade and so forth, I'll be able to announce uh, which ones have won. We also, uh, if you if you came from a long distance away and you're a Woodstock High alumni, please stop by one of these tents here and tell them, because we do like to find out who came the farthest distance. And we've had some great distances over the years from foreign countries and from Alaska and Hawaii and all. So let them know in the tent if you came from a long way away. We do award a, a prize for that. We also do a 50-50 raffle. So uh, please buy raffle tickets at these tents. And here's a special plea for dues from Woodstock High School alumni because the newsletter didn't go out on time this year and that's always a problem. Uh, with dues. So please, please, if you haven't paid dues for this year, do stop by the tent and ante up. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's cheap, believe me. <coughs> but the alumni <coughs> counts on it uh, because we award scholarships, about $10,000 worth of scholarships every year uh, to Woodstock High gradu graduates. So the dues are very, very important and they help to pay for this parade too because these units charge, some of them, a lot of them. Uh, so stop by the alumni table and pay dues and, and or buy a 50-50 raffle ticket. Uh, they also have over here at one of these tents a list of all the class dinners tonight if you don't know uh, where your class is having their dinner. Uh, there's a food table as well that'll stay open into the uh, mid-afternoon. And as always, there's that delicious breakfast down at the Masonic Hall put on by the Alumni Association. Just $10 for all you can eat. They got maple syrup, pancakes, and eggs of all varieties. It's a wonderful, wonderful breakfast to benefit the Woodstock Alumni Association. Uh, but uh, it's not just for alumni, it's for anybody that wants to stop by. That's at the Masonic Temple. They had it this morning, they'll have it again tomorrow uh, from, what is it, eight o'clock until, I guess nine o'clock until 11 o'clock. That's it, nine, nine to 11. Down here you see our memorial float, uh, which has the names of uh, alumni who have passed on. Uh, and uh, if you have a relative uh, who is not with us any longer, who was a Woodstock High alumni, uh, please make a note of it, uh, buy a little a ticket to go on there, put it on our, uh, our memorial float. Uh, people look at it after the parade and it also helps to support the alumni and those scholarships I mentioned in the name of, of our loved ones who have gone on. Do we have a photo booth this year? I know a lot of years there's a, a booth loaded up with the fo fo old photos that Marianne Emery Alcroft has put together over the years. The History Center has one, I'm told, okay. With, uh, that's great, that'll be good from the History Center. Old pictures of uh, Woodstock High School. This year's parade is dedicated to two of the most loyal, hardworking alumni that you could imagine, Alan and Linda Atwood. So uh, our parade, our newsletter, everything is dedicated to Alan and Linda 
They worked so hard all through the years on Alumni Matters. Just a wonderful, wonderful couple who have meant so much to us through the years. I'd like to acknowledge, too, uh, the hard work of our, our president, Byron Quinn, our vice president, Dennis Wright, uh, and for, particularly for putting this parade together, the parade coordinator, Donna Woods-Jones, without whom we just couldn't do this. She does a wonderful job of, of getting the groups and organizing it all, and Dennis Wright uh, helps her a lot. So those two get a lot of credit for this parade. So that's it. Uh, they're beginning to walk up School Street now, so they'll be here, School Street, South Street, it's all the same, in just a moment. Be back with you in a moment. Okay, so coming up to the corner, our color guard, they're all U.S. Marine retired, Twin State Detachment of Marine Corps League from the Upper Valley, Len LeBron, Warren Kaufman, Alan Olmsted, and David Roberts, our color guard. And they are followed in the yellow Jeep driven by Michael Miller, class of 1973, and he's accompanied by Erwin Fullerton, class of 1945, World War II veteran in the Yellow Jeep. And we thank you for your service. So here come horses and wagon, driven by Chris and Ingrid Nichols, of the class of 1984. That's Cinderella. Cinderella is Dory LePan. Prince Charming is Devin Kinney. The fairy godfather is Sue, uh, Sue, my mother, July, uh, Julie Strong. Ugly stepsisters are Matt Maxim and Justice Pingree. And the evil stepmother is Michelle Pingree. So that's the class of 1984, Cinderella. Now we call the next one our parade marshal, uh, because that's the 50th reunion class by tradition each year. So as you see there, the Wizard of Oz, Bob Daly is the Scarecrow, Don Oakland the Tin Man, Mark Damon is the Lion, Colin McDonald is the Wizard, Nancy Campbell is Dorothy, Sue Fuller is the Wicked Witch, and Elaine Tarleton Grant is the Good Witch. Class of 1969, the 50th reunion, the Wizard of Oz. So here comes a salute to our longest classes out. 1938, 81 years out of school, Harvey Watson. Accompanied by his wife, Lois. Harvey, U.S. Air Force, retired. 1938, 81 years out. Followed by the class of 1940, Gene Conklin in the back there, Gene Conklin and Barbara DeCoff Gilbert, driven by Andrew DeCoff and Ron Weidlows. Gene Conklin, Barbara DeCoff Gilbert, class of 1940. Oh, OK. 
Okay. All right, we got uh, Norman Boynton, class of 1942, driven by Bruce Gould. Norman Boynton, class of 1942. And Charlie, if you'd hold up on the church for just a moment, I want Fred Barr to drop in with the memory float. So there's the, the memory float with the names of alumni who have passed on. It's a little model of the old school, which was down on South Street here, where the elementary school is now, and the new high school. Okay, here comes the, uh, the, the little church, the, the Dennis Wright, our uh, vice president of alumni, relocated and found it. It was in downtown Woodstock for 50 years. It's 70 years old. And Dennis lovingly restored it. It plays Christmas carols at Christmas time. And here's Timothy Morris from Marshfield, Vermont, with Jonathan Lloyd, the bagpipes, and the drums. And on the bicycles are eighth and ninth graders Jasmine Lance and Callie Filial. Okay, here come the tractors. 1948 Gibson driven by Nelson Gilman. The 1969 Massey Ferguson 180, driven by Keith Chase, class of 72. And that's Ona Chase behind, right? Okay, so the 1969 Massey Ferguson 12. Well, I think this is Farmall H, Denny Hewitt, I got it right, 1967. Yeah, that's Denny, okay. And in 1958, John Deere, 420W, driven by Floyd Van Alstyne, a World War II veteran. 99 years old. <laughs> 99 years old, Floyd Van Alstyne. Thanks for coming out. All right, here's a 1952 Farmall H with Herb Tremblay. 1949 John Deere, am I right? Driven by Kirsten Murphy. Class of 2008. So this is Kirsten, right? No, this is Kate. You're Kate. All right. <laughs> That's Kate Murphy Walker, class of 2011 for the 1959 John Deere 1946 John Deere B with Aaron Tortolino, class of 2013. And here's the first of our band units in their 47th year, originating originally from Springfield. The Hills Bandwagon. And 
and here is class of 1949, John Dalton, Green Eggs and Ham, select person John Dalton, followed by Keith Blake, Milton Subforton, Aura Paul, and others. Class of 1949. Oh, and Don Borden. Don Borden driving in the Stanley Steamer. <laughs> and this is Lisa Lynn, is that right? Uh, with the Woodstock Ambulance. And the Woodstock Fire Department. Woodstock's own fire department. Rounding the corner, the class of 1958, Go Dog Go, Lyman Shove and Bobby Taylor up in the cab of the pickup, and Tom Doton is back there behind in the little yellow car, Go Dog Go. And the hook and ladder from the Bridgewater Fire Department. <laughs> oh, there's Smokey the Bear on the back. Bridgewater Fire Department with Smokey the Bear. And here are Herrick's Rangers. Herrick's Rangers garrison at Fort Defiance, fought in the Battle of Bettington. Whoa! And the Barnard Raid of 1780. Herrick's Rangers, the Green Mountain Rangers, they fought on the right side. And here is the Nutmeg. Fife and Drum Corps out of Groton, Connecticut. Precision unit with antique fifes and wooden drums. Ages 8 to 18. Always with us every year from Groton, Connecticut. And the Tigo Fire Department from South Pomfret. Here comes our own Upper Valley Community Band, also with us every year. Thank you very, very much for coming out. Wonderful band, raised and organized right here in the Upper Valley. comes the class of 1961, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Larry Luce is the driver. Papa Bear is Mark Johnson. Mama Bear is Faith Hendricks Stevens. Baby Bear is Dale Spooner. Goldilocks, Diane Borden. And the reader is Lynette Godsell Bailey. Class of 1961, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now you're supposed to wonder what BFG stands for. Actually, it's Big Friendly Giant. Class of 1963, Neil Lampson is driving. Harriet Lewis Mains up front. Sandra Brown 
Dennis Wright is in back. He's the friendly giant. Class of 1963, BFG, the big friendly giant. And here are wonderful 4-H'ers. All right, this is from Springbrook Farms, Top of the World Dairy. With their heifers, Michelle Palazzo leading Lexi Osley, Laura Osley, Josie Cross, Harley Dow, Caleb Palazzo, Joey Palazzo, and J.D. Cross. And here are our wonderful clowns, the three-wheeled mini bikes, out of Montpelier Temple number three. And the Sinai Joe's clown unit. So the three wheelers from the Sinai Joe's clowns, from Peter Temple number three, third oldest Shriners facility in the United States. State Police Car. That's driven by Sergeant Chris Blaze. Class of 1973 coming up. This is the, the leading guard here, and there's more to follow. The old women who lived in a shoe, you'll see the shoe in just a moment. So the old woman is Robin Damon. The kids on the tricycles are Jay Morgan and Mike Moore. The kids walking are Dave Adams, George Kranz, Joe Haynes, Duke Eaton, Steve Morgan, and Holly Hawks Pasco. The old woman who lived in a shoe, class of 1973. Followed immediately by the class of 1975. The three little pigs, Dan Lewis, Jerry Murphy, and Harry Atwood are the three pigs. Penny Clifford is the wolf. Shannon Murphy is driving. The class of 1975, the three little pigs. The West Windsor Fire Department. Followed by the Reading Fire Department. Thanks for being with us. All right, coming up one of the classiest music ensembles we have in Vermont. The name has changed over the years. The Island Time Steel Drum Band out of Bethel, Vermont.
So again, that's the Island Time Steel Drum Band out of Bethel, Vermont, under the direction of Scott, Scott Paulson. With Calypso music. More to come, stand by. Good long parade this year, that's good. Nice turnout. Thanks everybody for coming out. All right, here comes the class of 1979 celebrating their 40th reunion. And their children's book is Where the Wild Things Are. Greg Fullerton is driving. Max is Jody Warbrow. Karen. The monsters are Allison Jilson Way, Julie Rice Fall, Terry Doughton Coulomb, Leslie Spalding Lewis, Monica Tremblay Bryan, Kenny Winton, Alina Payne Wilson, Rock Webster, Cece Pryor Dezella and James Hutt. And into the night of his very own room. Where the wild things are, class of 79 in their 40th reunion. And here come the mini cars out of the Cairo Temple in Rutland, Vermont. Shiners from Rutland, Vermont with the mini cars. All right, coming up here is the class of 1989 celebrating their 30th reunion. I'm going to tell you who's in the class, but then they have a little narrative that goes with their... So it's Parker Nichols, Chris Hansen, George uh, Cacciadore, and Jane Newton Cooning, Dale Potter Devine, Phyllis Barrell, uh, Townsend Boy, Boyle, and Chris Rafta. Now... They have written this little narrative to go with their Where's Waldo? It follows. If you search the entire map, you're lucky if you can find one of these travelers from the volcanoes of Hawaii to the ancient ruins of Europe. Members of the class of 1989 are as elusive as Waldo himself. They apologize to their favorite algebra teacher, Lynn, who just happens to be Lynn Waldo, and they say that all of the best Waldos have assembled now in one place after 30 years. Class of 1989, where's Waldo? And they wrote that low down and it's to go with your book. So here's the Southwood Stock Fire Department. And here is our 25th reunion class, the class of 1994, with the Giving Tree. Allison Charbon O'Brien, Tina Barr Tuckerman, Lauren Riccio, Jen Waters Lamore, Tanya Lavanwe Cameron, Brent Marinello, Jacob Dume, and Carl Vitol. The Giving Tree, class of 1994, at their 25th reunion. And here is Gary Neal with his segue. Gary Neal. And this, with the hurdy gurdy in the train, is Blaine Gowen, comedy performer and master magician with the anatomical monkey, the hurdy-gurdy and train with Blaine Goyle.
And we have the class of 1909, 2009 on their 10th reunion, Harry Potter, Amnesty Foxton Rushford is driving, the Wizards and the Witches are Mackenzie Harrington Renzo, Chelsea Austin, Amy Wood, Allie Roy, Brian Rowe, Gunnar Norris, Michael Ritchie, and Ken Hendrick, along with Kim Barr, class of 2009, Harry Potter. And this, by a process of elimination, has to be the Woodstock High School Jazz Band. All right, thank you. They gave us some thrills on the athletic fields as well. State championship in football, Vermont champions. State champions in boys ice hockey for the second year in a row. And girls tennis state champions for the third year in a row. Class of 2019. Oh, there is a tribute to the tennis champion with the trophy, the state trophy, three years in a row. Oh yeah, and last but not least, the Med Bavarian Band. In the later hosen and the Bavarian hats. the reformed Mad Bavarian Band under the direction of Jana Ketchum, new director this year. We lost our old director last summer, late last summer. So thanks very much for coming out. The parade curls around behind me. Are the first units, yeah, there they are. There's the Wizard of Oz passing right behind me now, coming back, so you get a second pass at it. So we'll shut down for now from here, uh, but the judges will make their decisions about the winning floats. We'll have that announcement for you as soon as they finish their work. And uh, we'll tell you about the winner of the 50-50 raffle. Hopefully uh, the alumni traveling the farthest for our celebration today. Be sure if you're a Woodstock High School alum to attend a class dinner tonight. If you don't know where it is, uh, we have a list of them here at the tents. Again, be sure to come pay your dues because they support 
thousands of dollars in high school uh, scholarships awarded by the alumni. And tomorrow morning, there'll be breakfast at the Masonic Hall again, served by the Woodstock High alumni, a bargain at just $10 a head for all you can eat. A great place to see alumni from other classes. So thanks again. Thanks to our Alumni Association President Byron Quinn, and most of all to our parade coordinators, Donna Wood Jones and Dennis Wright. So we'll be back at you when the uh, prizes are, uh, when we have the names of the winners. We have the people who have come from the farthest distance. So I'm going to read you some of the people who came from a long way away and then tell you who's the farthest. But nowadays, we can measure it on these little electronic devices. So, some of the ones who came from a long way away. Jim Ranshausen, class of 57, came from Chapala, Mexico. Sheila Beland Schweitzer came from Buckeye, Arizona. So that Mexico was 3,200 miles away. Uh, the Buckeye, Arizona is 2,900 miles away. Then we have Peggy Marsh Hillshop from Park City, Utah, uh, who came, I uh, don't have the mileage on that, maybe 3,000 miles away, came from Park City, Utah. Chris Patterson uh, came from Würzburg, Germany, 3,700 miles away. And the farthest distance of all, 4,600 miles away for our 2019 Alumni Day. Deborah Belden, class of 1969, came all the way from Seward, Alaska. Seward, Alaska, 4,620 miles away. Our farthest, our alumni from the farthest distance away. Thanks very much. So, Start with the most original. Third place prize uh, goes to the old woman in a shoe, class of 1973. Third place, most original. Second place, most original. Where the wild things are, class of 1971. And the winner of the prize for the category most original, class of 1958, Go Dog Go. So that is most original. Now in the category most humorous. Start with the third place winner, class of 1984, Cinderella. The second place winner in the humorous category, class of 1989, Where is Waldo? And the first place winner of the humorous category, class of 1975, The Three Little Pigs. And moving to the artistic category. Third place goes to the class of 1994, Giving Tree. Second place for most artistic goes to the class of 2009, Harry Potter. And first place for the most artistic goes to the class of 1961, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. That brings us to the overall judge's choice, the grand prize goes to the class of 1969, the Wizard of Oz, the judge's choice prize. Wizard of Oz, class of 1969. Thank you again, everybody. Oh, and thanks to our judges, Mary Riley, Andrew Cleland, and Nancy Kendall for doing a great job as our hardworking judges. And there again, our graduating class of 2019. Out into the cold, wide world.